over the road, 10 minutes, maybe 11, maybe even 12, uh, depending on who's driving. Uh, but it's always a pleasure uh, to return to Quadrico Heath. Uh, it's been a few years since we've been here. There's an extensive program uh, of uh, concerts and, and sessions, and it's so lovely to see our friends and, and catch up with new people as well. Uh, I know it's lovely to return to Munster and, and to play uh, in your own home environment. So we're going to play a number of selection of tunes for you. We have a number of different combinations of instruments. Um, we're going to kick off with a few tunes uh, on the ilum pipes, the fiddle, and the accordion. And we're down in B, so we're we're quite low. We're flat set, a flat set of pipes. Um, this is a particularly special set of pipes, which was entrusted into my care in 2019 by Nicky and uh, They were once owned and played by the master piper uh, Limo Flynn. Ooh. The legacy Liam should still be here playing, but what, what a selfless uh, act to do to pass on the instruments and ensure they continue to be played uh, and certainly to bring me great joy. Um, so we're going to try a couple of jigs. Yeah. Good evening everyone, it's great to be back from the party I got you for the end. And um, we'd like to start off with a few jigs. Uh, the first one is uh, a tune I found that I had a lot of time during the, the lockdown and uh, I did compose a few tunes. The first one, anyway, I'd compose is the Ferry to Clare. And the second one then is a <coughs> tune coming from County Mayo of Johnny Henry's. And the third one is the, um, a composition of Peter Brown, the Piper, Land of Plenty. What beautiful music we heard from Nia and Megan and Cahal area. So could you please put your hands together for that one. <laughs> it's always so lovely to see the next generation coming and playing and singing so beautifully. So thank you so much for that beautiful music.
we we're going to continue with uh, a couple of reels this time. Uh, the first one is a great tune called Mokrasabi. Yeah. Uh, Mokrasabi, of course, was recorded by Paddy O'Keefe <coughs> and uh, played by Judy Clifford and Dennis Murphy. Lovely tune. And the second one is uh, Walter Salmon. Walter Salmon. Yeah, grandmother. Walter Salmon's grandmother. I think Dad recorded in the 70s on his uh, first solo LP, and it's also called a number of different names, like every other tune, uh, and it's also called Harris's Ring. Yeah, and uh, we'll finish that set then with a um, uh, person of the Silver Spear, if I remember, working in Dublin in the 60s, and um, we used to have a great uh, session in Slatteries in Cable Street in Dublin every Wednesday night, and we have all the greats in Dublin coming in there, um, John Kelly, Joe Ryan, and, uh, and uh, Seamus Innes, I remember Seamus playing this tune. And we played it for you right You all sound a great for him. <laughs>
so much. Um, we're really enjoying being here in Castle Island, and as I said, it's so lovely uh, to come into a, a room full of just a warm welcome and to see so many friends, and of course to meet so many new people as well. Uh, we're going to continue. We're going to change over combinations for those that know us. Uh, we're definitely the Ryanair dream team. <laughs> There's always multiple um, accordions and, and flutes and pipes and harps and, and, and the works. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to continue with um, a couple of tunes this time. A couple of, um, a couple of um, flames or horn pipes, I suppose. Um, the first one is uh, Castan and Or and um, composed by Jura Creighton and the second one is uh, Cameroonian Highlander. <coughs> but um, just uh, I, I remember Patrick Cockfield fairly well because there, there was an old hall in Brosnan in the, near the church and I remember when I was very young I, there was a concert in Brosnan that night so I, I played a couple of tunes and Patrick was playing as well but um, <coughs> Party was so drunk. That was, <laughs> that was a couple of uh, steps up to the up up on the stage. And party had too much to drink and he fell back. But um, he was held down to the stage anyway. You know, he played mighty, he played mighty music. <laughs> None of that in Castle Island just to change. <laughs>
want to continue on with um, a couple of jigs now. And um, we do the rose and the heather. Did. Yeah, so three uh, great jigs. The first one um, is called the rose and the heather. The second one coming from County Sligo, so the Calabra jig. And the last one is a great tune um, recorded by Shane Sillis, which is the Booking Wee. The Booking Wee. Uh, yes, we give these a go. <laughs> Sometimes there's a plan and sometimes there isn't. <laughs>
much. Well, it's been such a pleasure to play uh, some music for you here in Castle Island tonight. I know from Dad and myself uh, and Michelle, um, it's always a great pleasure to be here uh, in the Kingdom. And I would love you to put your hands together for the organisation for putting together such an extensive programme. Uh, here tonight with our great friends in Alton who are going to be playing after this and of course Mark, uh, uh, Nia and Megan and Cahal earlier this evening so it's been a real pleasure to be part of the team. So we're going to, continue, we're going to finish up with a couple of reels. Yeah, uh, thank you and it's great to, to be playing here in the part of Archive and um, we'll finish up with um, a person I heard going on back years ago in London <coughs> the Galway Rambler. And the second one then is coming from a great, one of the greatest pipers, I suppose, that Galway produced, Patsy Tuhi, and the name of that tune is Tear the Calico. And um, we'll finish up then with um, a reel called um, The Handiest Reel. <coughs> and uh, these, the handiest were connected to Sean Kane, the great figure, and sadly Sean passed away. We were great friends down the years, so thank you all for the opportunity. You can get very rowdy for the last one. <laughs>